You've got it. Hello, stock watchers, and welcome to your daily stock report brought to you by QualityStocks.net, where, as always, performance is tracked daily. I'm Kathy Rankin, and for Friday, December 22nd, we're bringing you the latest news from around the markets as well as the top movers to look out for today. Happy holidays, everybody, and let's wrap up the market week. Not surprisingly, following the market's run-up of renewed concerns of weakness in areas that were thought to be stabilizing, it exacerbated worries about the pace of economic growth, prompting investors to take more money off the table. Out of the gate, stocks were showing their resilience to more evidence of a slowing U.S. economy. Before the bell, the Commerce Department showed that the U.S. economy grew at a slower pace than previously estimated, marking the weakest quarter since quarter four of last year when the economy expanded at a 1.8 percent annual rate. Fortunately for the bulls, the dated nature of the report and the forward thinking of the market have so far left investors more interested in the current pace of economic growth and a focus on forecasts for 2007. However, with the Dow, S&P 500, and Nasdaq running virtually uncontested over the last five months, posting respective gains of 6.7%, 6.5%, and 7.5% in fourth quarter so far, investors were exhibiting cautious tones. In our small cap headlines, Nighthawk Systems Incorporated today discussed revenue growth realized in 2006 and discussed areas of focus for 2007. Boosted by the large sale the wireless carrier announced earlier this week, it will close the 2006 year with our strongest quarter of the year, more than double the revenues of the previous year's fourth quarter. Overall, revenues for 2006 will be approximately 70% higher than revenues were for 2005. Nighthawk Systems Incorporated, or NIHK, find themselves up 56% at the opening bell today, with over 12 million shares traded Thursday. Synergex announced yesterday that its KC Systems subsidiary has received an initial purchase order of what is expected to be a multi-million dollar contract for design, development, and supply of the next generation closed-circuit television and security system for the New York City Transit Authority. This system will be installed at 32 stations identified by the Transit Authority as part of its station security, communication, and upgrade project. Synergix, abbreviated SYNX, previously at $1.68, closed their day Thursday up 19%, with nearly 1 million shares traded. Tut Systems Incorporated announced this morning that they have agreed to be acquired by Motorola Incorporated for $39 million. Now, Motorola, the world's number two cell phone maker, said in the joint announcement with Tut that it has agreed to acquire all of the Lake Oswego, Oregon-based firms' outstanding shares for $1.15 per share. That's 18 cents above Wednesday's closing price. The acquisition is the latest in a series of purchases by Motorola in recent months. The deal is expected to close in the first quarter of 2007, and of course this is pending regulatory approval. Tut Systems Incorporated, or TUTS, previously at 97 cents, was up 16 percent at the opening. And that's it for the newsmakers. The staff of QualityStocks.net wishes everyone a happy, healthy holiday season. We'll be back on December 28th, bringing you the latest news from around the markets, from NASDAQ to small cap and everything in between. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kathy Rankin, and we'll see everyone next week right here on The Daily Report. This transmission is coming to you. We've got it.